We talk about sophisticated technology and low maintenance engines. But not today, because today we're talking about the EA288, the latest generation 1.6 owned 2.0 liter diesel engine from the Volkswagen Group. Hi, my name is Moritz. I'm a master automotive technician and part of the team that's always coming up with great new repair solutions. These are our expert kits plus and today we've got a new amazing solution to add into our range. The EA288 has a special feature. It's this water-cooled intake manifold. This means that we no longer have a classic intercooler at the bottom of the front, which is only air-cooled. VW has a so-called low temperature cooling water circuit for this engine, especially for the charge air cooler. This consists only of this intake manifold, a water cooler in front of the actual cooler package and an electric water pump. This means you can keep the temperature here lower than in the other cooling systems. The engine is generally designed with a fairly complex thermal management system and has three different cooling circuits, one of which is this one. We have an intake air temperature sensor directly in the intake manifold. Depending on the desired operating state, the engine can then regulate the charge air independently via the coolant pump. The system is not dependent on the outside temperature. What's more, we have a lower volume than in a conventional circuit and can therefore guarantee faster turbocharger behavior, which of course has a positive effect on exhaust emissions and fuel consumption. So why am I telling you all this? This engine has a problem. An inner cooler is incorporated here, that is a conventional heat exchanger. We can show you this using our spare part. A fine heat exchanger is incorporated directly into the intake flow. This component is subject to high thermal stress. Here we have the increase in the operating temperature of the engine and also the temperature of the air. We find differences of around 60 degrees within a few centimeters. So we have a lot of movement in the material and a lot of stress. In these engines, the heat exchanger leaks and there is a gradual loss of cooling water. It starts slowly and increases over time often at the fourth cylinder and can actually be easily endoscoped to identify the problem. Another cause, such as a leaking EGR cooler, should also be checked. Unfortunately, we don't have any damage to this engine, so I haven't removed it. Nevertheless, I would like to briefly describe the fault pattern. This is the intake side towards the cylinder head. An emulsion, that is an oil water mixture, is often found on the fourth cylinder on the tray, as the coolant often escapes here and then mixes and is drawn into the engine. So what have we come up with? We supply you with the intake manifold in excellent quality, as well as everything you need for installation. This includes the gaskets for the cylinder head, all kinds of screws, the gasket for the EGR and a new temperature sensor. This is known to cause problems anyway. The engine is available in different variants, which is why there are also different intercoolers. You can also get these from us. The scope is always similar and offers a complete set for the complete replacement of the intake manifold. One more tip from me. As the engine has a complex thermal management system, please bleed the air according to the manufacturer's specifications. There is a special program for this engine that bleeds all coolant circuits. This process takes about 15 to 20 minutes and is very important for this engine. If air bubbles collect anywhere, this can lead to serious damage. Okay. 
another great solution from us in the form of our expert kits. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel.